Good evening, Rob. Any tensions that were raised by the president's visit have subsided. Civic Center Park behind me is quiet once again. As all of Kenosha wonders, what will actually change? Kenosha streets have seen just about everything in the last nine days. Today, it was a presidential visit, spurring mixed feelings amid a search for unity. I'm glad he was here. A group of supporters awaited the president's arrival. And Trump is doing an amazing job. His leadership, um, his compassion, his empathy. I think that people need it. They need to see him. And um, we're behind him. Some met face to face with those who did not welcome the visit. We don't want a political statement. We want a conversation. Wait a three with days Conversations that usually play out online were out in the open today. Open dialogue. I've actually talked to a few people on the other side and we've been talking. The talking tempered the tension from last week, but some worried the visit could spur more hostility. He shouldn't have come here. It's just going to create an uproar. Yeah. And I feel like honestly, after tonight, like things are probably going to go back downhill after we started going back up and making things better. The road forward for Kenosha is not clear, but today showed both sides can peacefully work toward progress. We can be out here all day and night, but unless people actually start voting, then that's when change really begins. Let's work on it and continue to work on it because otherwise we're doomed to fail. Now, the curfew is expected to continue this week, as will the National Guard presence, hoping that everything here stays as calm as it is. Reporting live in Kenosha, Alex Maragos, NBC5 News.